I am definitely most excited about a lot of different things. So being able to meet the team yesterday and get to start to develop those relationships with them off the field. We kick off practice on Monday, so I'm really excited to take the field with them and get going. But they had a great season last year, and I'm just incredibly excited to build off of that and then make that the expectation for UNC Wilmington softball. One of the things that attracted me most to this job is the culture of winning within the athletic department. There are so many other programs around campus that are highly successful and have, have sustained that success for a long time. And I truly believe that UNC Wilmington softball can also be that next program to sustain this long-term success. So once I got to campus and got to meet everybody and then was able to meet with the girls on the interview process, it was just a done deal from that point as far as knowing that this was the right place to be. On the field, the Ashley Wade coach team is definitely aggressive on the bases. We're pushing the envelope and doing as much as we can to manufacture some runs. It's going to be a blend from an offensive standpoint of power, of speed, of consistent offense and then defensively will be sound and then obviously with the pitching staff I have full trust in Coach E that she's going to continue to develop the pitchers to sustain the success that they had last year and then put that whole blend together of just a balance of all the different aspects of the game. So I definitely think that is a, a good blend of that is to learn on the coaching staff that is returning and then also lean on to the players and find out from them what was successful for them and what worked for them and what that they needed to improve on and they've definitely been honest with me right out of the gate of the things that are the, at the top of the priority list to improve on and then things that they wanted to add that to keep and then definitely take on my touch of it and change some a little bit of things here and there to tweak those because I think it's important to and we can't just show up the same exact way in this year and expect the same result we have to still put in the work and have to get better because every team is out there strategizing to compete against us so if we're not adapting our philosophy and getting better ourselves then we're not likely not going to repeat that success. So it's just trying to take what we have now, add on to the things that, to make them even stronger of a program, and then go out and win another championship. So it's actually a question they asked me during the interview process. They asked me what my goal was for the fall and what my goal was for the spring. And I told them that my goal for the fall had absolutely nothing to do with softball and that my goal for the fall was just to get to know them as people. And I think my coaching philosophy and my coaching style is someone who's very relational. And I think that you can get the most out of your student athletes and it starts from developing those relationships with them recruiting and then also recruiting the current student athletes that you have here. So taking this fall to really get to know them as people, get to know their background, get to know what they're interested in career-wise so that way I can help support them in any way possible to achieve those professional goals. But that is the number one goal for the fall is get to know them both on and off the field. I am definitely excited to be in Wilmington and live at the beach. So I grew up on the East Coast and around beaches my whole life. And then obviously coming now from the Midwest where it's a lot colder uh, here to Wilmington and to the beach, I couldn't be more excited to be there. There will definitely be some beach workouts in the future for us, uh, but I'm really excited to get to the beach and hopefully see that soon. I think once we're able to have some fall games and get the community out to the games and obviously meet the current players, parents, and meet the alums that are coming back to campus, I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's really important to invest in the people that came before you and the people that help support you and really surround this program. And so that's definitely a top priority of mine is to give as much time and get to know them as much as we can. and still have them be a big part of the softball family. I guess to know about me, I think just softball and baseball has always been a huge part of my life. So growing up outside of Baltimore, growing up with the Orioles in the backyard and being able to watch them play. I had the opportunity to be a ball girl for the Orioles in 2011 and then return back to Camden Yards this year for the 30th anniversary of the stadium, which was a really cool opportunity to be able to get back on the field there. And just growing up with around the game, I'm just really excited that this is the opportunity that I've been given in life to have this as a career, so what more fun could you have than have your hobby your whole life be your career? Wings up, go Seahawks!